Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to the uh, Booze by Raw production facility. A um, little bit of a different show for you tonight. So I've gotten a couple questions about the equipment, not necessarily the cocktails. So I thought it would be a really good time to talk about this kit um, from Barfly. Barfly is a, an equipment company that makes bar stuff. Um, this kit, I think, is fantastic for the price. Uh, we gave it as some Christmas gifts, and this would be the one I'd recommend if you don't have anything and you're just starting out. Um, it's kind of like a one-stop shop. So we're going to explore this kit. I'm going to open it up. I have not opened this, but I have this kit already, and all of its stuff is over here. We're going to make two different cocktails, both very, very simple, and uh, we'll show you how to use it. So let's get going. So you even have to use a knife to open the, the box. And we open it up. I can do it this way. So there's a thank you for choosing Barfly little uh, 3D barcode so you can get to a website. Nice. First out, we have um, what's called a Boston shaker, um, which is one of the two types we're going to use today. Um, a Boston shaker and then a glass mixing glass. So they're they're different and they're used for different reasons. Pretty nice. Um, you use a Boston shaker when you have something that has like a citrus or an egg white or something that's opaque that you need to break up a little bit. You use a mixing glass when you're just dealing with liquors that need to be combined and cooled and uh, chilled a bit. So, all right, what else we got? All right, three more things. One is our favorite strainer. It's a barfly strainer. And the cool thing about this is that little piece of metal, it lets you push against it. And we'll show you how that works in here in a little bit. Next, we have a jigger. And this style is called a Japanese jigger. Um, so two sides. This side has gradations inside that are a quarter ounce all the way to filling it up is an ounce. On the bigger side, you have one gradation that says an ounce and a half and then fill it up, it's two ounces. And then last but not least, you can't have a self-respectable, oh, look at there, without a spoon. And this is long. Bar spoons are also twisted. That has to do with, you can pour carbonated liquids down here and they don't fizz up. So that's really a cool feature. All right, so that's what you get. I'll put a link below it. Um, I bought this on Amazon and it was about, call it $70 uh, with tax. And we'll show you how to use it. So we'll get this stuff that hasn't been washed out of the way. And we'll bring the clean stuff in that has been washed. All right. So first one we're going to do is called a Rob Roy. So we're going to use our mixing glass, use our bar spoon, and the Hawthorne strainer. So a Rob Roy, oh, and we got to measure stuff, so we're going to use this as well. So a Rob Roy uses two ounces of typically a blended scotch. And this would be one where you don't need something really expensive. Dewar's White Label, uh, this 175 is about... 28 to 32 dollars depending on if it's on sale or not and it's one of my favorite blended scotches actually no change that it is my favorite blended scotch period there is no maybe about it all right secondly we're going to add uh, a red vermouth also known as sweet vermouth uh, unless you're going through a lot of vermouth buy a smaller bottle because this is a wine and it will oxidize and go bad all right, we're going to use three quarters of an ounce of sweet vermouth. It also gives it a good color, too. All right, lastly, three dashes of Angostura bitters. One, two, three. Actually, watch me doing that per the recipe. Now we're going to use our bar spoon. And we're going to twirl it around. We want to keep the outside of the spoon towards the outside of the glass. We don't need to foam or anything like that going in here. Already had ice in there. I didn't mention that. So that looks about good. 
And then we're going to use another favorite brand. This is Visky. And our Hawthorne strainer fits right in top. And you hold it and you can hold it down with the that little you know, detent I, I showed you earlier. And done. Rob Roy, done. Great scotch cocktail. Uh, simple to make and very tasty. All right, so next, moving on to the Boston shaker, already has ice in it. We are going to make a daiquiri. Now, a lot of people think daiquiri is something coming out of like a frozen ice cream machine at some mega chain. That's not what it's supposed to be. Daiquiri starts with two ounces of rum. So the big side, fill it up. Ooh, production staff. Put white rum on the, uh, on the list. There we go. Flipping it over, we are going to use an ounce of fresh lime juice. Or if you have to use real lime, it's fine. And this is also a bit to taste. If you like it a little extra limey, go for it. And lastly, simple syrup, which is one to one ratio of um, sugar and water. Boil it till the uh, sugar combines. And there you have it, half an ounce. Once again, to taste, but this is probably pretty good. So now we don't use the spoon. We're gonna put our ice cubes in here and you just kind of give it a little tap. Okay. So you will see some kinds where half of it is metal and the other half is glass, and you want to avoid those. So what can happen is you could chip the rim of the glass and you would go in the drink and you wouldn't know it. So that's obviously bad. We aiming for good, right? So then you're going to shake it. And you can see it start to get condensation on it because it gets cold really quickly because part of the action of shaking it breaks up the ice to get a better dilution. There we go. And we're going to use a Visky coupe glass. And we will use our Hawthorne strainer again. Mm, okay, that's good enough. We use the dirty one. Production staff won't hire. Here we go. So there you go. That is the traditional daiquiri. The Barfly set really has everything you could use and need. Now, I have a bunch of other stuff because I kind of geek out on this stuff and I start buying stuff on Amazon after a few cocktails. But that's what you get. It's everything you need to kind of get started at a pretty decent price. Um, then you can go crazy after you get these and you start buying all kinds of weird stuff. So with that, let's have a little daiquiri. Cheers, folks. Stay safe. Enjoy. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the subscribe button. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll do other stuff. And reviews of, ooh, that's good. I like that. Sorry, one moment. I deserve it, darn it. So there you go, folks, the Barfly cocktail set. I'll put a link below it. If you like it, pick it up. Take care, folks.